Hey my loves, it's Kaylin Rose and I'm back with a couple verses of the day. So today's verses of the day are coming from Psalm 89 verses 15 through 18. And they say, Blessed are those who have learned to acclaim you, who walk in the light of your presence, Lord. They rejoice in your name all day long. They celebrate your righteousness. For you are their glory and strength, and by your favor you exalt our horn. Indeed, our shield belongs to the Lord, our King to the Holy One of Israel. So today, I don't know who else has been having this kind of week where you, I've been feeling oppressed, like spiritually, like first three weeks of January was like extreme energy, extreme levels of strength. Like, I don't know. It was so good. But I got to this week and it felt like it's just a lot of irritation, a lot of annoying things, just a lot of, whole lot of distractive, deceptive things coming my way that is causing irritation and in my spirit as well like i don't know where that came from and so today god is saying but one thing i never forgot to do or gave up doing throughout this week is to praise the lord enthusiastically and publicly which is what it means to acclaim god said blessed are those who have learned to acclaim you so i already know no matter what kind of spiritual warfare I'm going through. I know I'm going to still praise the Lord and claim him and praise him publicly with enthusiasm. Like, I don't care if I just got done crying. I don't care if I just got done being so frustrated. I don't even want to make a video. I still know and go back to doing the best thing that I know how to do, which is praise the Lord. And so that's like walking in the light of his presence because the presence of God is in prayer. It's in reading the word. He's there with you while you read the word. And it's also in praising him. That's when God shows up. He has to come when you're rejoicing in his name. And so when you do this all day long too, like it becomes your norm and your habit, God says you are blessed when you come and go. Because that's where I get my strength from. That's where the glory comes in in everything you do is because all day long your lips are on god your mind is on god your thoughts are on god and that's how he protects you from the enemy and his oppressive spirits of doubt of insecure or anxiousness and anxiety because sometimes that spirit tries to come back on you out of nowhere when you're not even having that kind of season or that kind of you're not on that kind of time and so today God just wanted me to remind some people that when you are feeling oppressed like highs and lows like you knew you know you were just having the time of your life you loved you loved everything that was going on in your life like you felt like things are aligning and then out of nowhere it's like a shift in your spirit where you don't suddenly feel as enthusiastic you don't feel as secure and it's all mentally it's not it's not physically physically things are still going well but mentally you feel awe god is saying in times like this this is this is how you continually stay blessed even when you don't feel blessed you just praise him and rejoice in his name and so rejoicing just means to thank god for everything he has done that he is doing right now and what he will do god is saying that's your shield that's your protection against the enemy and that's your protection against doubt because you begin to doubt man is god really gonna give me my heart's desires is god really gonna keep his promise and do what he said he's gonna do am i really doing the correct work should i be doing this right now that's what doubt is and that's what the enemy puts in your head like you start to fear everything you fear the future you fear yourself like are you start just questioning everything i know some people is questioning their lives their situation 
and just their identity. And it's like the best weapon is praising God. And that's how you activate your shield. Because he is the only one that knows how to cast down those spirits off of you. If you rest in him and you rely on him, your strength can be restored. See, apart from that, we're still feeling weary. We're still feeling drained. We're still feeling discontent. And God is saying he knows how to protect us from that shield. If we would just bask in his presence, if we would just go back to praying, that's what God is saying. Go back to doing what you first started doing. I had to do that. Like sometimes you begin to fall off a schedule of your time spent with God. And God's like, no, this is the time where you need to pick it up with your time. This is the time where you need to pick it up with your time with him. You have to intentionally go and spend longer amounts of time with him, longer amounts of praising, longer amounts of fasting, longer amounts of reading your Bible, just to really soak in the word and just to really soak in his strength and favor on your life. So I love you guys. This is just a quick word for someone to know that God is still protecting you in this moment. Even when you don't feel protected about what's all the evilness going on around you, God is still protecting your family members. God is still protecting your heart. God is still protecting your, you from yourself, from you self-destructing. God is the shield in this season. God is shielding you today from any negativity and thoughts you have God is shielding you bring him bring those thoughts to him and let him restore them with the thoughts he actually has for your day thoughts of purity thoughts of goodness thoughts of joy thoughts of newness thoughts of restoration thoughts of a land flowing with milk and honey God is here to be your shield against the enemy's lies He's here to shield you from yourself and your mental illnesses that you may begin to res allow to resurface. Your body dysmorphia, your depression, your anxiety. God is here to shield you. He's like, no, we already took care of that. And it's time to let that go. Cast those thoughts down that the enemy is trying to bring back upon you. So I love you guys and I hope you guys have a blessed day.